Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new around here, I'm Kibekani. And I'm Jade. So today we're doing a vlog. We haven't done a vlog in a while. No. <laughs> um, we'll be shadowing a foundation year doctor, a foundation year one, uh, just seeing how they do the job. So we are both in year six uh, at the University of Cambridge studying medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on our apprenticeship block. And what this means is that we have essentially finished all of our exams. Yeah. Uh, so written finals, clinical finals, PSA, all of that, we're done. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and now we have, uh, as Kubikani said, an apprenticeship block. And what this means is that we are each assigned um, a junior doctor and yeah. we follow their rota roughly. And yeah, we just try and get more experiences to the job that we'll be doing from August. Yeah. So. Tonight we're heading to Peterborough, so we're on placement at Peterborough City Hospital. So we're about to leave for the train now, um, the shift starts at 9pm. So uh, the train to Peterborough from Cambridge takes about 50 minutes, so we're going to do that. Yep. Then we have about an hour before we start, and yeah. Should be exciting. Hey guys, so we're now in Peterborough and we're about to go in. It's nearly 9 pm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head and meet the F1 and yeah, we'll catch up with you guys as and when. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> you can leave via. Hey guys, so we've been on the night shift. Um, I don't know what time it is. Um, 10 to 1. 10 to 1, okay. So we've done a few things. Uh, we've been doing a lot of bloods, some ABGs. Mm -hmm. Reviewing patients with the F1. Um, and yeah, just going through some core teaching with the, the F1, kind of talking us through nights and yeah. to prioritise time management and things like that. So yeah. So we're going to have a break now, get a drink and um, maybe get something to eat. Yeah. And then rejoin and take them off. Okay, so we're on our way walk to the accommodation. We're gonna go and get some cereal yep. and probably a coffee. <laughs> yeah, the accommodation is literally opposite the hospital. Yeah. Like two, three minute walk. Yeah. Just across the car park and yep. we're there. So now that we've finished the night shift, we thought we would have a sit down and talk you through kind of our experience. Yeah. Uh, Kiba Garni is going to talk you through the placement that we're on at the moment and what that entails mm. um, after. So we did our night shift. So to give you a general overview, this starts at around nine, depending on the hospital that you work at. Uh, so it starts at around nine, you have a handover with the, the day team and they will alert you as to anyone who is um, particularly unwell who would need yeah. you immediately. Uh, so. No two nights are the same, so it's very difficult to give you more of a, an insight other than that. Yeah. But essentially, you review the unwell patients, make sure they're stable, obviously, um, refer to your seniors if you need to, and essentially you're on call, you wait to be bleeped by uh, the medical staff that are looking after the patients overnight. Yeah. So at this point in time, we're in our apprenticeship block, which is a six weeks block after exams, so all the exams are done now. Mm -hmm. um, this time is just to learn how to be a junior doctor. It's helpful for us, um, so when we start, so for the first week or two, just to help us find our feet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're learning things like how to do a discharge summary, how to refer to radiology, and uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. Things you don't really get to learn in medical school, basically. Yeah, the more practical, hands-on aspect of the job, yeah. aside from the theory. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed that video, uh, it's a bit of a short one, uh, but we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>